Hi Warriors, um, I'm releasing this word in Light Beam East Coast instead of my personal Facebook. Uh, there's so many words that God's speaking these days and uh, I really felt that I needed to release this now word. If I don't release this word now, um, then it might get delayed and I felt like the timing was important. Now those who have ears to hear and those who are called to these things, may you have ears to hear in Jesus' mighty name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for a special anointing upon this word as I release the now word for June 5th, uh, 2020. I pray that God, you will anoint it. You will speak to those who need to hear in Jesus' name. So um, I came on live uh, and I'm going to post this on YouTube today because since last Sunday or about a week and a half ago, I had this revelation about lawyers. I know it's kind of a funny word, but I had a revelation about legality, lawyers, constitution, law, and all of these things. I'm just going to share with you what I see and what I hear from the Lord, and may you take it. And if you, if this word applies to you and your family or some of your children, please share, share this with, with them, because I think some people need to really hear this. So I am praying. What I saw was like um, the devil. Okay, three things. One, God anointed lawyers and legal representatives must arise. And I felt like the Lord is really calling some of you, the younger ones, to continue to study law. And he's going to uh, uh, anoint you with the mighty Holy Spirit for you to really uh, study the ways of the Lord and the systems. God is about to uh, break down some of the uh, legal systems and expose some things in the legal realm. And I, I felt like in the recent days, you know, I, I have huge respect for um, Apostle Robert Henderson, who's been releasing this fresh new teaching about the courtroom of heaven. And I've also personally adapted those um, principles and I try to go up to the courtroom of heaven. How many of you know uh, many people who are, apply those uh, principles of going to the courtroom and I study it and I um, try to apply it in my life and God's really given uh, revelation and maybe not that kind of breakthrough but there's some things that uh, that um, I have experienced in the courtroom of God where I think God is highlighting that because there's something that's that's happening right now on the earth and that is that um, there are, there are things in the courtroom of heaven that is being released that must be applied to, to the earth but I'm not talking about the heavenly court courtroom today I'm talking about on the earthly realm how um, there's God anointed lawyers and legal representatives there's going to be a, a surge God wants to anoint those who are in the legal offices those who are lawyers to experience the Holy Spirit because because number two my point is the devil is messing with the laws of the land to, to manipulate the systems and even to change the identity of nations. Now, how many of you also know that I've been preaching on sanctified patriotism? I'm probably going to go through a whole series on freedom fighters and what that means to me and how God has led me to uh, pray for the freedom fighters. And many of you don't know this, but in South Korea, I wrote books on like... Um, freedom fighters of the Holy Spirit and really preaching about how most people are really demonized or they're oppressed by the devil and we are to set people free and that is like fighting for the freedom of people and their souls. Well, I feel like um, a lot of times I felt like my experience on what's going on in, in Korean Peninsula is like a prophetic picture of what could possibly happen around the, the earth and I feel that um, in this season my uh, ministry past of what I learned in South Korea really applies to America in current times. That's why I'm preaching on sanctified patriotism, all of these things. Well, what the devil is doing to change your identity as a nation and other nations as well, this, does, this doesn't just apply to the United States of America, but other countries, is that the devil is messing with the laws of the land to manipulate the systems and to twist the law to to uh, bind people into a demonic system, to, to, to change things, and to ultimately uh, come against the gospel of Jesus Christ and come against the church. So there's a real heavenly, uh, like a spiritual war that's going on, but also I really believe that we can pray all we want, but we need to uh, activate the people on the earth who actually work in those realms and really uh, bless them. And so this word is for those who are in the legal realm, who are anointed lawyers. One of my mentors shared with me that um, a, a, a word that a prophet spoke about many years ago, like in year 2000 or something, she said that there was a prophetic word about how in the Western church, persecution of the church is coming through lawsuits. Basically, in the Western church, um, the uh, unpersecuted church, basically, um, like America, westernized church, that there is a persecution of Christians that's coming in a form of lawsuits. Now, I think that is true. 
and that's already happened that's already happening that um, there are things in the legal realm uh, that the devil is using to uh, bind and to put Christians in prison so I pray for as and if you are and, and number three the point I want to I want to make is for those who are studying the law don't give up and this is a now word this is a prophetic word now for now I feel like there's some of you who are younger who study law who want to go into law who pray for legal things you're called to the legal office you are in a lawyer's office you are um, a lawyer you do we represent people you're in the whole realm of justice and in social uh, justice and all of that those who are studying the law do not give up because you felt like you were giving up I pray God in the name of Jesus right now those who wanted to give up that they will not give up in Jesus mighty name I pray for enduring strength I pray for people to not give up in their studies in Jesus name so this is a prophetic word don't give up because God is going to anoint you you're going to have heavenly wisdom because you're going to go beyond the earthly wisdom and you're going to be able to see what the devil's doing to uh, manipulate to change even we're gonna see how the devil is trying to change the whole constitution so keep your constitution this has already happened this is already happening in other countries where they are changing the law without telling you they are changing the law without telling you so because you were not informed they're taking your rights as a citizen they're they're stealing your rights as a citizen by not telling you and changing things behind your back that's called manipulation that's called Jezebel and then they're going to decree it and then they're going to uh, create these things in the system to to ensnare you to put you in prison so these are already happening in other countries that is why I'm an ardent believer I'm a real believer of education so I'm a different kind of charismatic as you know I'm I, 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 I believe in the fullness of the Holy Spirit but you know that I went to I went to these uh, schools that are very um, prominent like I went to University of Chicago which was one of the most intellectually challenging schools and at the University of Chicago I really believe that every path of my education was ordained by God because the Lord knew what I had to fight with and he put me in these very tough intellectually challenging places at the University of Chicago I studied and then um, I, I went to Yale Divinity School which was very difficult uh, not meaning not academically but spiritually it was very difficult <laughs> and um, when I was, and then I was traveling in different Ivy Leagues and studying, uh, you know, talking with students in Ivy Leagues, I saw how the Holy Spirit's anointing was about to be poured upon these schools and we must pray and stand for the educational system of these schools, these leading schools where 80% uh, of world leaders or 90% of world leaders come out of these prominent universities, they're these university grads, and really these universities are the breeding grounds and the training grounds of brainwashing. Believe it or not, um, it, it's, it's a place of education, yes, it's true, but what are we educa educating our children, our next generation with? Are we feeding them the word of God? Are we giving them the right information? Or are we giving them intellectual freedom, which is basically allowing them to tamper and play around with demonic ideal ideologies, anti-Christ thoughts, the thoughts that are not, go against the word of God, um, yes, they, they, these schools allow that, and that's why we need to pray for these educational systems. We need to pray for these schools. We need to pray for spiritual intelligence. So recently, uh, since last week, God's really given me this word about starting a school of spiritual intelligence. We need to be spiritually intelligent, which means that we also have to read up. We have to be able to read things. We have to grill ourselves into education and academia. We have to infiltrate into this, these uh, world of academics. You have to be a good steward of your brain and your intellect in Jesus' mighty name because prophecy also resides in your mind. The word of the a word of the Lord are flawless, like silver purified in the crucible, like gold refined seven times. By the word of God the heavens were made, their starry host by the breath of his mouth. Psalm thirty three six. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but have, having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passion and will, will um, turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. So this is 2 Timothy 4.3.4. 4. How many of you know that this is what's happening? Time has come when people are not enduring sound teaching. They don't want sound teaching. They don't even want teaching. Our younger generation, our children don't want to study. 
They don't want to sit down and, and endure through reading a book for three hours. They don't want it. it everything's quick. Everything's TikTok. Everything's 10 seconds. Everything's a minute or less. You know, they want quick gratification. They want quick understanding. They don't want to endure through sound teaching. But having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers. They have teachers who suit what their own flesh and passions. And will turn away from listening to the truth and wander away into, away into myths. Wander off into myths. Wander off into the world of movies. Wander off into the world of fantasy. Wander off into the world of non-biblical truths. Wander off into the world of fantasy, human ideologies, into things that are not biblically sound. So I just pray that we will come back to the sound teachings. And that is why I studied theology again, because I knew that there was so much potential in my ministry wandering off into the myths of the world of electronic music, world of fancy worship, world of mystical thinking, and world of fantasy world, even world of the Holy Spirit charismatic, which could be very uh, dangerous at times if you're not biblically sound. So these are things that we are to be concerned about. But I really strongly felt that I had to encourage you, come online and encourage you to study, encourage you to read your constitution, study up on what's in your country. Uh, every country's different. Study what they're doing. Uh, in your government to change the laws, who is proposing what kind of le legal uh, bills to pass, uh, what, who's doing what, because you need to be aware. You need to study. You need to get involved. For, and, and for those who are studying law, who want to go into be, you know, studying law, if God has told you to study law, please do. I, I pray that you will not give up. May God provide every provision for you in this season when things are a bit off and you're not sure what you're going to do. I pray that God will give you provision. God will give you endurance, that you will not give up in doing what you're doing. Even those who are studying in international relations, because um, I believe uh, America must keep its uh, the, the uh, Constitution and also, um, why is there this manipulation in the legal realm? It's because the church and the body of Christ, the church, there's, there's been a temptation within the church system to twist the word of God. Basically, the twisting and the reinterpreting and wandering from the truth inside church and inside Christians, if, if the church loses its ground, it impacts the world. Again, I say the church has the greatest, greatest authority. If the church is not keeping the commandments, it says whoever keeps commandments keep their life, but whoever shows contempt for their ways will die, Proverbs 19, 16. The reason why church is releasing death instead of life is because the church has, kept, has wandered away from keeping the commandments of the Lord. So if the church is shaky, it affects the legal system, it affects the educational system, it affects the other systems to wander off from the truth. The church must come back to the word of God to keep the commandments in the name of Jesus. And if the church becomes, uh, Christians become people, keeper of the word of the Lord. If you keep the word of the Lord close to your heart, that's when you gain authority in order to make shifts and changes in other places. So God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. This is a now word. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for power upon this word. And for people who are working in the government, people who are working in the legal realm, people who are uh, dealing with uh, papers, people who are in the governmental realm, who have to pass bills, who have to read through these uh, laws that are being passed and the proposals. Father, I pray for wisdom of God in Jesus' mighty name. I pray pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that Christians will study. Christians will sit down and read. Father, I pray for reading anointing to go upon believers, that we read the word of God, we would go grill through these things, that we would not be afraid, we would not be flaky, we would not follow the media, follow the myths, follow the uh, rumors, but that we would sit down and study the word of the Lord, we would sit down and study the Constitution, we would sit down and study the legal things in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for anointing of spiritual intelligence to come upon the body of Christ in this hour in Jesus' name. And for those who are in these realms, the, the uh, representatives, the senators, the governors, the, the people who have power to pass laws and bills, the congressmen. Father, I pray that the, those who are godly will, will stand up for the truth, that they will not uh, budge, they will not uh, give up 
on the identity of their nations, not just for United States of America, but in many other nations, I see it. I pray that exposure will happen where the devil is messing with the legal realm in Jesus' mighty name. There'll be new lawmakers, new lawmakers, anointed new lawmakers who will bring forth justice from the courtroom of heaven down upon this earth in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. And for those nations where these laws were already twisted and applied and that, that are disadvantages, disadvantageous towards Christians and that, that the persecution of Christians have already started in the legal realm. God, I pay for salvation. God, I pay for help in Jesus' mighty name. God, I pay for anointed warriors of legal, legal experts, warriors, uh, anointed warriors of lawyers to come together. New networks of Christian lawyers would help, would, would form in Jesus' mighty name. I see new networks of Christian lawyers uh, in Jesus' mighty name. People who stand up for justice, people who are uh, there for justice, people who are not selfish, to, not in the realm to earn money, but people would do pro bono to help these people who are in difficult positions in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray for justice in the legal realm in Jesus' mighty name. I declare this word over you in Jesus' name. I pray for the young lawyers, the young people who are in law school. Anoint them, visit them in dreams and revelation to just tell them why they're in that realm. Raise up Daniels in Jesus' mighty name. Raise up Josephs in Jesus' mighty name. Deal with the Jezebel who's, who's tampering and who's manipulating, who's uh, taking advantage of the uh, blind spots of legality. That's what Jezebel did against Ahab. Father, I pray that you will catch these thieves these manipulators in Jesus mighty name exposure is coming in Jesus name keep your constitution keep your legal uh legal rules keep keep the law in Jesus mighty name father thank you for this word in Jesus name amen hope this word is a blessing please share it with anybody that's in the legal realm it'll bless them in Jesus name amen